abbreviations. Again, before I start, I want to say thank you for liking, subscribing and sharing. Really, guys, I saw so many of you, especially Arab community, a lot of I don't even remember your names, guys, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I know Shokran in Arab. Shokran so much for sharing my videos, guys. I love it when you share it. I love it when you like it. I love it that it's useful for you. I want to say thank you from all my heart. I will say it in Russian. Спасибо, благодаря. In Bulgarian, grazie in Italian, gracias in Spanish. Really, guys, thank you for sharing and subscribing. That keeps me happy, that keeps me smiling, that keeps me making these videos for you. Before I start, I like to say thank you Vrapche for requesting these videos. These videos are really liked. I'm so grateful. I am going to start to share my secret mathematical alphabets with you guys and how I not take. How I not take in a way I just want to see where we can see it properly. Okay, you see that symbol? That's a mathematical symbol for equal. I use this symbol and I will read now in which kind of cases. Equal or the same or when I want to see a result of something. Okay, let's say calling from the doctor. I put the sign and put the results. When something must be done in a certain day or the same medicines when the, nothing changes, there are no changes or take with food, continue in the same way or result of something, I use this mathematical sign. I just want to see if you guys can see it properly. This is the sign again that I use for equality. Or the same result, nothing changed, continue, take with, and so on and so on. This is my first sign that I use and really it, uh, it helps me a lot once you learn it. It's, it's really easy. Now I give the opposite sign. It's again sign coming from mathematics. This sign, it means different. Normally in mathematics, this sign is used when we talk about things that are um, different than zero. I use this sign when I want to say not equal, there is change, decline it, canceled, annul it, not okay, negative. This sign again, I repeat. Here is the sign. Let me see. It's so okay. It's like that. Perfect. Now you can see it, right? This sign for difference, cancellation, annulation, not equal, not okay, not working, changing something. It's so fast, right? Okay. Symbol number three again from mathematics. I give you the most simple ones and then I'm going to move to the next video where you can see those symbols. Again, you can create your own table with symbols, guys. And once you remember it, I promise you that's going to help you so much. The next symbol that I use, it's the negative symbol of the mathematics. We all know these symbols and this is why we can use it very easily we can implement it in note taking subtraction symbol okay what this mean for me when i note taking this is the symbol of missing something okay if i put minus sign it means stop taking this kind of medicine let's say we have to stop taking oxycodone i write negative symbol a subtraction and i write codon or oxyco and i already know that the patient have to stop taking oxycodone i use this symbol if we have a negative result in a medicine test or a lab test or any kind of a endoscopy whatever test is echocardiomardio when i write negative 
I know that the tests are negative. When I use this symbol, I also use it for a symptoms. When a doctor wanna say what kind of a negative symptoms or they normally use a side effect. When it's negative, I already know that this is a negative side effect. If the patient wanna say that they have a positive outcome, that's gonna be the next symbol I use that. When I put this symbol for myself, I already know that there is mean stop doing something. Stop taking medicine, stop doing this, stop the medicine, subtract. Especially if I give instructions, stop eating and drinking. That symbol for me, it means to be less, less than something, subtract something. And if we, are, if we have some kind of a call that is regarding documents, insurance, you know, there is all so many documents. When I put this symbol, I know that we are missing a document. If I put this symbol and, and I say landlord or a tenant contract, I know that we missed that thing. But I don't write at all. We are missing the landlord, tenant. I write the symbol and I write the type of the contract and that's it. If it's a long list of instruction, this kind of symbols is going to help you to remember. There is the next one, plus or mathematical symbol of addition. Okay, start doing something, especially in instruction, if I put plus, I know we have to start doing something. Um, if I put plus and medicines, I know that the person have a new medicines that they have to start taking. If I write plus lab, for me, this means a positive lab result, and then I write whatever is the problem or the results uh, positive in uh, blood sugar, I don't know, high blood pressure, whatever is it, I write this sign, it means positive result. If we have instructions for a document or something and I write this plus sign, this means bring document with you. Bring something with you. If I write this outcome and I said surgery, this means that the outcome of the surgery was positive. If I write this plus, and I as an in India mean new information for me, but it's just two alphabets that I write, and I already know what is it, uh, to, what is it the matter, what is it about. So if somebody steal my notes and they want to read it, it's going to be so hard because I make this abbreviation in different languages. And when I do that, normally it's difficult to understand my notes. And then last but not the least, when I use the plus symbol or mathematical addition, this means a solution of something. It could be a solution of problem, it could be a solution, any kind of a solution or resolving of something, a positive sign. Okay, I use brackets or absolute symbols. Let me show you how they look like. So the inner one that you see in green, blue, in mathematics, this means uh, mathematically not negative. The other one that have a brackets like that, in mathematics mean obligatory okay so i will tell you how i use that um especially in instructions okay because a lot of times when we discharge people from the hospital or give them some kind of instructions we have this must or this obligatory and i always gonna put in brackets what the patient is supposed to follow up or so on. So uh, for me, when I write down in my notes and there is something inside, this means absolute conditions and if so 
must. So I put this sign. I have another sign here. I don't know if you could see it. This sign, if, this means if for me, the conditions inside, the result is 911. So what this means, the things that are in the brackets for me are my condition. If you have bleeding, dizziness, heart rating, sweating, temperature higher than, and blah, and blah, and blah, my, my obligatory is 911. But instead of saying, instead of writing it all down, you could see here, let me show you. I don't, I don't know, the light is not so good, but I wanna show you. Okay, so this is my if, and we said bleeding, dizziness, heart rate, confusion, whatever, 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 they are in the black, and this is my, my conditions. The result or what the, the person have to do, it must call 911. But I abbreviate all these things inside here in this way. So guys, if you want to write a condition and you are afraid that you're going to forget, use the bracket. I am telling you, this really, really, really helped me to take a fast note. Okay, I use this... Uh, I, can, I don't even know how to say those in English. Forgive me. Maybe you can come in. But I use this small... In Italian, it's called frecciatine. In English, it's like direction, lines, direction, symbols. Okay, now you can see it perfectly. I use these direction symbols if I want to do some special something. So when I put this symbol versus someone, it means uh, to, message to the person, message to David, going toward the car versus. So when I put this thing, this symbol, for me, it means uh, going to someone, going to the doctor. When I put it that way, it means coming from the doctor. This is called from, I don't know, the nurse. Uh, you receiving this call from the hospital, um, from the medicines or back to something. You gotta be back to your doctor within one week. This similar mathematical direction signs, this is how I abbreviate them, forgive me, or I put them in my notes. Sorry guys, I know the light is not so good, but I'm trying my best. It's just that I moved to a new place and I'm still learning how to use the lights, please. Don't judge me for that and thank you for your patience. And the last symbol that I'm going to show you today that I use, it's again a mathematical symbol, uh, difference to the one that was direction. And this symbol means approximately. When we talk about mathematics and the number P, P is Peter, or Pythagore sign, it comes from Greeks, they always come together with this sign because this is approximate number 4.1313. Of course, whoever knows mathematics, you guys have studied this symbol, this means approximately or almost equal, but not equal, almost, and this is on the end, whatever. So I use this, uh, this symbol approximately to... Um, when we talk about something that is around something or similarity regarding something, results, talking about something, more or less, somewhat, look to that kind of directions when we are not precise and we give instructions that are approximately or something is similar to something else or especially if the patient is talking about some kind of condition, approximately this, approximately that, I feel somewhat dizziness, but it's not the room, is not spinning. This is the symbol that I use when I note take. 
Okay, guys, stay tuned. I am going to make more videos with this funny, 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 very funny alphabet. Here you go. Funny alphabet that have all these weird symbols that I personally use in my interpreter daily note taking. I hope that was useful for you guys. I hope you like it and share it and subscribe and leave positive comments and leave a recommendation. And if there is something you want me to do better, please comment below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful first week of January, guys. Happy New Year. Thank you for being here and have a wonderful, blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye.